Okay, this uh, next problem relates to number 21 um, on, the, uh, on the assignment. And this is all about um, using what we've learned and adapting it to a real life situation. So this problem, I'll get rid of this first. It says, the scatter plot shows the time spent texting X and the time spent exercising Y by each of 25 students last week. Write an approximate equation of the line of best fit for the data. It doesn't have to be the exact line of best fit. B, using this equation, predict the time spent exercising for a student who spent six hours texting. All right, so the very first thing we want to do is if we are going to come up with the equation of a line best fit, we kind of need uh, a line of best fit to look at. And then we can work on trying to figure out uh, what that's going to be. So let's take this right here, and we're going to try to come up with a line of best fit. So let's, uh, let's use what we know about doing lines of best fit. All right. And let's see. I think that's pretty good. All right. Now, hopefully you'll notice that when I did the line of best fit, Right, and I'm going to pull this up. Oops, we didn't want to do that, right? I'm going to pull this up. Hopefully you'll notice that the line of best fit actually has two points on it that we sort of added. And those are those red marks that Alex adds onto it, right? So we're going to use those, and those are going to be our two points that we're going to use to write the equation of this line. So that first one is the point 2, 8. All right, let's do this. Right, and then the second one, so that's point one, right, and that's the one on the left. And point two is the point ten one, right? My x is ten, my y is one. So what I'm going to do, what I do any time I write an equation, and I am going to figure out what the slope is first. All right, so the slope is going to be change in y over change in x, right? Well, the y changes from eight to one, all right? So that would be eight minus one. And then the X change is going from two to 10, so that would be two minus 10, okay? So hopefully you'd see that one of these is gonna be negative, right? And you should see that it's a negative slope because it goes down from left to right. So we wind up with seven over negative eight, which means that we have a slope of negative seven eighths. So that's my slope, all right? So now I'm gonna use one of these points and my slope to find my y-intercept. So then once I know my y-intercept, we can write our equation. So to find our y-intercept, okay, we are going to go, okay, we have y equals mx plus b. So we're gonna use, we know that m is negative 7 eighths, and we know that we have two points to work with. So let's use that point 10, 1 as the point that we're gonna work with. I'm going to move this up a little bit. All right, so let's put it in this equation right here, okay? That's where we're going to put it. So we're going to go, my y is 1, so I have 1 equals negative 7 eighths times 10 plus b. So this is, you know, not fun numbers to work with, but not terrible. So we have 1 equals, I'm going to do some cancellation here, so we'll turn to 10 into 5, we'll turn the 8 into 4, because I divided both by 2. Negative 7 times 5 is negative 35 over 4 plus b. All right, so in other words, and now what I'm going to do to figure this out is I'm going to add 35 fourths to both sides. And when I add 35 fourths to 1, let's think of 1 as 4 fourths. All right, so let's think of it as 4 fourths. Okay, and so 4 plus 35 is 39 fourths is equal to B. That looks terrible. Let's swipe up a little bit. All right, so my B is 39 fourths. So this is helpful, all right? So now I know that M is negative 7 eighths, and I know that B is 39 fourths. And so my equation is going to be Y equals negative 7 eighths x plus 39 fourths, which is almost 10. And that looks like that, that works out, right? Looking at that, uh, looking at the picture, right? So let's put this in. So we have 
negative 7 eighths. And it's not letting me put in um, fractions here. So what we're going to do, because it's not letting me put in fractions, is we're going to write 7 eighths as a decimal. All right, so let's do that. So we'll go 7 divided by 8 is 0.875. So it would be y equals negative 0 0.875. Let's put our x there, x, and then plus our y-intercept. And our y-intercept is 39 fourths, which is 9 and 3 fourths. Well, I know 3 fourths is 0.75. So it's going to be 9.75 plus 9.75. All right, hopefully you know your fourths by now. So now, using this equation, let's predict the time spent exercising for a student who spends six hours texting. So this is, at this point, this is pretty easy because all I really got to do is just put six in for x and then figure out what I get. So I got 0 0.875 times six plus 9.75. So let's pull up the calculator and we have, we have 0 0.875. 0.87. Why is it not letting me do this? 0 0.875 times 6. All right, so this is, that is negative 525. So I'm taking this away from 9.75, all right? So we have 9.75 minus 5.25. So that's going to be 0, 5, and 4. So that's going to give me 450. So that worked out kind of nicely. Worked out nicely, than, more, more nicely than I thought it was going to. And it says, predict the time spent exercising. So we're predicting that it would be four and a half hours. Let's look. If you go at 6 and you go up to where we meet the red line, it's right around four and a half hours. So I think we're in good shape. So this is kind of a, you know, an involved problem, but it uses all of these skills that we should be working on right now and honing and trying to, to really lock in on. All right, so good luck with this problem and I hope this video was helpful to you.